Hey YouTube, it's Cece. Um, I look a fool right now just because I made a video that I'm not going to post on YouTube. But yeah, I made a music video. Anyways, um, I haven't been on here in like a long time. Some of you all have been commenting on my videos. I appreciate that. And I have been responding. I just haven't been on YouTube. School started back up and everything. So it's like things are becoming hectic. Um, classes are going well. Um, that's really it. My birthday's in a month. Um, that's really it. But, I do want to give you an update on my hair. It's growing. I plan on taking these out. I've had these for two months. Yeah, two months. And my hair is starting to get really, really dry. Even when I put um, grease and oil in it. So, I'm going to take these out and do some treatments. And I'm thinking about getting them done again. And then, uh, when I go home for Thanksgiving, I'm going to get a sew-in. And that will last me until... Probably until exams in December. But, um, meanwhile, nothing is really, my face is breaking out really, really bad. I can't believe I'm going to put this on YouTube where y'all can see my face breaking out. But my face is breaking out really, really bad. I stopped taking all the vitamins I was taking only because it was, um, I felt, I think I was taking too many, even though it's like, some of those are B vitamins, so it's, like, it just comes out, if I take too many, it comes out through my urine. But, um, some other, I was having some other health problems. So, I decided to stop taking those all together. Um, what else has been going on in life? I'm trying to give y'all a mini update. Oh, my nails. Okay, I did this on my own. I know they look kind of kind of like I did them on my own, but I went and got a full set cuz I was supposed to be growing my nails out. That didn't work. I ended up biting them. And the only way I keep my hands out of my mouth is if I get a full set. So I went and got a full set. The thing is, when I get a full set, it's really 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 did I say really hard for me to actually keep the same color. So when I go, I just get a plain color. I don't get designs or anything because it's pointless for me to pay that extra $5 when I know, like, four days down the road, I'm going to want to change the color. Eventually, my nail starts to grow, like, from the nail, the acrylic, you can start to see the acrylic from the nail bed. And it's not exactly time for a fill-in, but the thing is, so I do, like, half-tip colors, and, hold on a minute, I'll show you what I bought. Okay. So, um, to get what I have, I might do a tutorial on it. I don't know yet. It's 2.10 in the morning and I couldn't... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm still recording on my iPhone, so, yeah. But anyways, um, I couldn't sleep, so I decided to do a video. That's why I look so raw right now. No makeup, no jewelry, no nothing. Just CC <laughs> without anything on. Um, my eyebrows, I got them arched. I need to get them arched again. I think I told y'all the story about, um, me going to my same style. She always did my hair, always did my eyebrows, did everything else that I needed. So, yeah. Uh, my lip color, my natural lip color. I love my natural lip color. Anyway, sorry. I know, I didn't know it was that bright. But... Um, so yeah, so I found some people up here that I like to do my braids and I like to do, um, certain things to my hair. And I was always scared about getting the ladies in the nail salon to do my, my eyebrows because every time I see someone else, they always have like this really, really skinny line. I have thick till eyebrows, like really thick eyebrows. If I don't get them done, you'd be like, whoa. 
I like my thick eyebrows, but I like them to have an arch in, you know, like what they look like now. I think my face fits what my eyebrows look like now. Some people probably say they're still too thick, but I love my eyebrows the way they are. And that's all that matters, right? So, I found someone up here, and I, every time I go, she's like, keep thick, keep thick, keep thick. And I'm like, yeah, keep the thickness, just arch them, clean them up, you know. So, every time I walk in the nail salon, and I don't get my nails, I get, I started getting my nails in there, but um, every time I walk in, she's just like, keep thick, keep thick. So, I guess it's good she knows I don't want them skinny. Like the rest of the girls, when they walk on campus and you think, oh, they don't have eyebrows. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to show you this look again. I don't know if you can see the little silver line up under. That didn't help it, did it? Up under there. But it's like a little silver glittery line. I'm going to show you everything. And you can accomplish this, um, this look with about seven dollars and that's rounding that's adding tax and everything else in it so um i went downtown and downtown is like where all the ghetto shops are all like hair shops beauty stores and they're really cheap because it's like three in like one block so they have to compete okay so well actually two of these didn't two of these came from a a hair store I always call it a ghetto store, ghetto store but two of these came from a hair store no two of these came from a pharmacy and one of these came from a hair store but you'll get what I'm saying okay so um the silver stripe came from sinful colors nail art it's just like a grit glittery um art design brush as you can see and I just did like a line up under the polish, polishes, I should say. And it's called Fashionista. It's number 1641. And this was $1.99. I'm pretty sure you can probably find it elsewhere uh, for like a dollar. More than likely, Sinful Colors. But I got this from Rite Aid, so it's $1.99 at Rite Aid, which is, still isn't bad. But I'm just like $2 for this little thing in the jig. But it's all good. Because I, I mean, I can get my use out of that. And I won't use it as much. So it's fine. I'll get my money worth. Um, and then, okay. I used Crackle. Um, it used, my mom said it used to be popular when she was younger. And then it just like went away. And then OPI started using having started the crackle line again and everyone got into it i bought the eight dollar bottle of opi and crackle okay we're gonna get into that later because i'm gonna have to do a new video but i'm just gonna show you the colors and then i'm gonna go back and talk to them in a different video so the base color it's a pink it might look red to y'all i don't know i think it's a slant let me see okay i look really dark and it doesn't look as high def but that's the, it's a pink up under there. And this is the pink by Sinful Colors. And it is number 5160. And it's Beautiful Girl. That's the name of it. Beautiful Girl. Always want to do you dirt. Gonna have you. Won't go have me. But anyways, um... And then this is a crack. It's called Cracked. I bought this from a ghetto store. It's called Cracked Nail Polish Oil Based Formula. And it's it's 2012 by Chiramoya. I don't know. But it's called Eternity. And it's MMXII18. So that's that. Can you see it? I can't see it. You can see it. That's that. And this is what the front of the bottle looks like. Alright, so stay tuned and I'm going to show y'all exactly how I did this. Alright, I'll see y'all in like three seconds. Bye!